I myself was sexually assaulted by a guest of the United States Congress, and I had no place to turn. Congresswoman Annie Custer, a sexual assault survivor herself, alongside California Congresswoman Jackie Speer and others, unveiling the Me Too bill in Washington, D.C. today. I believe we can change this. I think everyone is on notice now, no matter what profession you're in, no matter what age you're in, uh, everyone is on notice that this behavior is not okay and it will not be tolerated. The legislation strives to do three things, protect the vulnerable, level the playing field, and increase transparency. I think it's a major improvement upon the current process. It all comes after allegations that two sitting members of Congress have sexually harassed staffers. Speer said she was aware of the harassment at a congressional hearing this week. She also says there have been 260 settlements involving sexual harassment in the last 20 years on Capitol Hill, costing taxpayers $15 million. And Custer adds that there are far too many questions surrounding those allegations. It's outrageous because members of Congress did not even have notice of who these members are, how much was the settlement, what were the circumstances, what are the consequences. And meanwhile, these people are just out running for re-election. Their constituents don't have this information. And now Speaker Paul Ryan has announced that all House members and staff will be required to take part in anti-sexual harassment training. Custer says she hopes this bipartisan legislation gets passed quickly. Live in the studio, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.